That was, I was to help you give you a starting sync. point. Audio sync. Audio sync. So guys, guess what? Um, wait, wait, Daniel. Hey, wait. You a little thirsty? Don't, don't parch. A little parched? A little parched. What's going on? What the hell? Well, what the hell? So that's because dry week is, is coming up. Ah, I wanted dry you to begin week. to feel the pain. So the quarterly challenge <laughs> is upon us once again, you magnificent bastard. That's right. Daniel, let's remind people, what is the quarterly challenge? The What's quarterly the challenge is a chance for us all to take a week-long break from all alcohol. Yes. Just to sort of check in and make sure we don't have any sort of dependency issues or we aren't sort of going back to the bottle a little more often than necessary. Yeah, which maybe within the current environment, it, it's very easy to get down that slippery slope yes. there. Now, there's a couple of reasons. One, practically speaking, for all the whiskey nerds out mm -hmm. there, this is a really nice way to reset the palate. It really is. I found that when I move to other things and then come back to whole whiskey categories, it's interesting. And as we mentioned, it's also an intentional check-in. This is by no means a perfect way to make sure that you don't have any problems, but to be intentional about it on a regular basis, yes. that's the point. So we invite you to join us. We're going to take a break from content and a break from drinking, and we will see you magnificent bastards on the other side. And Wait, here's the dates. You want the dates? I do, I do. Oh, oh. I do. Well, first oh. do the dates, and then I'll do because there's the okay. list. There's the thing. There's a list. Okay, are you going to tell them about the sign-up list? Okay, so this is going to start Friday, the August 7th at noon and go through Friday, August 14th at noon. That's the official time. Yeah. Now, if your own schedule is, you know, ish, that's fine. Yeah. The point is to have an intentional, solid week right. of uh, taking a break from What home. happens Every, if they do? Everybody that participates um, and has become a whiskey challenger. That's right. At the end of the week, we're gonna provide a link to a list to add your name to the hallowed list of whiskey challengers. This is a really long thing. It is a really long thing. This Sorry, Dan. We're, bye. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a whiskey here in a second, you ready? Welcome to the Whiskey Vault, supposedly, there's... Yeah, you ready? There's no whiskey. This is a gift from Magnificent Bastard. Second Gainth. Second Gainth, you Magnificent Bastard! <laughs> now, new rule, because <laughs> all I so enjoyed that. Handles. All whiskeys must now have a handle. Because <laughs> that's... That's so much yeah. easier. <laughs> so you this, card, this, look, card. it's even got, no, it just says, this is for you guys, drink it, thank you. Well, wait, look. Hi, Daniel, this is from Sack and Kainth, please review this. I, like I said. Thank you. <laughs> he did ask politely. I was hoping for more of. Look at this, got the poured spout to keep it from glug, glug, glugging. Is that the reason? Yeah. Oh. To keep that bloop, bloop that you get like in a milk jug if you well, try then to. Then how are you going to learn the talents needed to not? It's like it. training wheels. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Loch Lomond. This is a blended Scotch from Scotland. This the cool thing about this is notice it's blended Scotch, which means it's going to be a mix of malt and grain, right? Yeah. But it's all malt and grain in theory coming from their distillery in Scotland. Oh yeah. So they're not using multiple distilleries in theory. It's all theirs, right. but it's a mix of grain and malt. So it's a blended scotch. So it's damn near a single malt because it's all one distillery. But well, it's a single malt grain. But they did the grain. Single malt, single grain. Because it wasn't it's combined. Not, it's not blended because the way usually you yeah. get a blended scotch is it's pulling from all these different places. Right. But this, if it wasn't for the grain bit, it, it was a single, single grain and a single malt married yes. together. All right. Uh, you know what? We did a Japanese whiskey last episode and oh. had this earthy peat. Mm -hmm. This also has an earthy peat. It's a different angle on the earth though. There's a slight sour note in there though that's yeah, it was like a sourdough bread. Yes. No, I think so too. I think uh, sourdough bread's a thing. Yeah. Because it's then, bready. No, it definitely is like cooked sourdough bread. Yeah. Less sweet than, on the nose at least, less sweet than the Japanese whiskey we did last episode. Oh. Oh, I like that. That's not bad. I mean, it's mild. Sweeter than you would expect. For a budget, if I was going to, yeah. oh, man, I might. If I was looking for a budget to is, just stash in the cupboard and refill. Is this budget? Yeah. That's a nice budget. Right? Wow. Okay. Ah. We get the, no. the, What's the another good budget we could compare it to? Because I think this is standing up really well. It's got to be in the low 40s. What 40%. do you say? Johnny Walker Red? Or should we go with like Chivas? It's a 40%. Um, do the Chivas. Do the Chivas there. And then. Um, the, assuming I have Chivas. The sweetness that shows up. Because that was what was a little bit. Thicker on the taste than, than on the nose. Oh, uh, I do have Chivas, but only the 12-year-old, which is not really a fair comparison. How about Ballantines? You know what? 
it gets damn near floral for just a second, the sweetness. And then the sweet element fades away and you're left with the primary note, which is this, uh, yeah, this, this, uh, this earthy note and a sourdough bread quality to the earthiness. How does it compare to this? That's the question. Yes. This is Ballantine's. You know, Ballantine's was the first whiskey I was ever gifted. Oh, really? Yes. I just think that's a cool bottle. I like that combo of black bottle and the white yeah. decorative. And that was before any, any and the crest. YouTube channel, any distiller, any of that. It was mm. just, you know, one of, my, one of my dudes hooked me up with the bottle of Ballantine's. Oh, it still has that, but there's more candy and like fruit in this one. In the Ballantine's? Yeah, there's, it's got, still got that sour bread note, but it also has... It's a little bit sharper on the Ballantine's. It, it, it also has more honey in it. Is the proof? You said the same? Mm -hmm. 40%? Okay. Oh. More flavor on the Loch Lomond. Yeah, it, the Ballantine's is sweeter. Yeah. And a little more prickly at the end, at the same time. A little bit. The Loch Lomond fills out the mid-earth tones and the bread notes. Yeah. Doesn't get too sweet. Yeah. And still has a little bit of wood, woody character. So if we're, if we're grading on the budget whiskey, budget blend yeah. curve, I think this is a surprisingly good option. Yeah. This is a little bit closer to what I would expect in the Ballantines, right. but it's not bad for a budget blend. It's still very drinkable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Matt Stogie. What do nuts say when they sneeze? Cashew. <laughs> that was a pretty good sneeze, actually. When you're trying to do a fake sneeze, it's always hard to know like how to deliver it without it being too obvious. <laughs> is close. That's pretty good. <laughs> you know what? Sorry, I'll see myself out. <laughs> he left the He's out of the whiskey tribe now. <laughs> Think about what you did. Just sit in the corner. It's been a long time since I was peppered with bullshit. <laughs> I can't believe you got as far as you did before you realized what was happening. <laughs> that, that was a peppering. <laughs> John Stinson, everyone trying to act like they don't notice Rex's shirt, and I'm over here like, <laughs> if peeing your pants was cool, consider me Miles Davis. <laughs> you remember that? Isn't that, it's that, uh, but I dribbled down. Is that Billy Madison, or is it, <laughs> it's the one with Adam Sandler and the old lady. You remember they all pee themselves? <laughs> because he, one kid pees himself, and so he pees himself to make the kid feel like he's okay. Yeah. And then the old lady is like, if Paying yourself is cool, then I'm Miles Davis. And he's like, oh, oh, too much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what? Dude, the conspiracy theories about your shirt have gone on Wait, I, for weeks. What, what theory? Because well, remember, we released like three videos before you explained it. Really? And then, if you, and then after, there oh. was more. Oh. And if you didn't catch that one 10 second explanation. I told you exactly what Every it time was. I'm going through comments, I'm oh. like, yet another Rex, why is your shirt wet comment? No, there was like a recent one in our last shoot where I was like, I saw the videos that Fancy Dan edited. He puts them in front of me. Uh, I have no idea what it was what. <laughs> Slovenly. <laughs> I live slovenly. Uh, good uh, times. You know what? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I If I saw this, I'm trying to think. In the budget category. In the budget category. Yeah. 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 I would be willing to spend in the 30s for this quantity. For, for people that come over that, like, hey, I don't know anything about anything. Don't waste anything fancy on me. I just need something in class. Yeah. Fair enough. Even on the rocks. Even on the rocks. Fair enough. Yeah, all right. Not bad grading on the budget blend. Curve, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.